Okay, so there's lots of stuff in the news at the moment about Range Rover insurance and cars being stolen. Um, I'm just going to show you three quick tricks. Going to cost you less than 100 quid and the first one's free on how to stop your Range Rover being stolen or, or how to make it harder. Let's put it that way. Now, the first thing is, it's, it's quite handy, but you can do without it. That's the keyless entry. Now, that's the key. That's a, a key tester. If I switch this on, you will see there that that's flickering. Now, this key sends a signal out all the time so that when you go to your car, you can just put your hand behind. Well, let me lock it first. So that's it. You touch the indentation, car locks. You come back to your car, put your hand behind it, car opens and you get in. Now, a thief, if you leave that key near the front door of your house, they have what you call a signal snatcher. And one of them transmits the signal that this is giving off to your car, they get in, alarm doesn't go off, and then a few, few seconds later they, they drive off in it, and you've lost your Range Rover forever. So, in order for them to or to make them make a noise and set the alarm off. If you disable your keyless entry, it's, it's quite easy, but you have to be quick. So what you do, once you open the door, you've got about three seconds to carry out this procedure to disable the, the keyless entry. So here we go. First of all, we open the car, then we press the light button. One, two, three, then the unlock button. Now, Keyless lock won't work, can only lock it with a key, like so. Come back to it, there you go. It, the, the keyless entry is disabled. It's a marvellous thing, uh, uh, to, be, to be fair, it, it really is. You can only unlock it with a key. So therefore, in order to gain access to your vehicle, they have to break a window or something like that, and, and uh, your alarm will hopefully go off. That's the first one. The other thing I particularly like is when you do this, it also disables gesture control underneath the, the, the rear wing of the car. When you walk past it, you can put your foot under the rear wing and the tailgate opens. Unfortunately, every time I walk past my car on the forecourt here, if it's parked next to another car, tailgate opens. So it disables that, so that's why I like it. To enable it again, same thing. First of all, you open the car door. Three seconds from opening the door, lights, three times, lock. You shut the door now, and that's it. Keyless entry, keyless lock is engaged again. Okay, so one of the other things I've done with this car, if I just uh, spin this round here, like so, I've done a video of how to fit this, but in the Range Rover, the battery is under here. Now, in order to get to it, you've of course got to take the spare wheel out. Get that out. So the air pump is housed in this container here and the battery's underneath. What you will need to do, there's one bolt there, the other bolt is here, and then that will slide out enough to get to the terminals. Now you see the terminals there, negative there, positive there. If you look under here, just pull that out. I've fitted a car lock there. You see it beeping away there. It's stuck. It's hard to get to. When you do it, put the positive terminal on first. Make sure you don't touch any of the surrounding area with your spanner put something over it like a rubber glove or something and just use the edge because if you do touch earth it will spark and you don't want to do that. Ideally if you're confident that there's nothing using the memory then you can undo the earth terminal so it doesn't spark, fit it properly but then you might have to reset your clock and, and stuff like that. But there you go, that's it. At the moment it's about 40 quid. I've done a video on how to fit it and what it does, but 
it will pick up a vibration, it will pick up if the engine started, it will pick up if the vehicle's on a trailer and it goes outside of a certain ring fenced area. And I've also got, you, you can set, you can set it to come on uh, when you get home from work, you, you can time it. So you get home from work, alarm goes on automatically and then it goes off in the morning before you get in it. Or you can get one of these, which I've got, which is, which is brilliant. That's the tag there. So you come back to the car, get anywhere near it with this tag and the car lock switches off you get out you walk away the car lock switches back on again it's uh, it's a it's a brilliant thing i'm always forgetting to turn off the car lock with my phone which which you can do i can get my phone out and then if we look here so go to car lock and you'll see there that's where my car is at the moment I can set it from my phone so I can switch it on like that. That puts the ring fence on as well and just switch it off. That's what I kept forgetting to do. So with a little tag, I come back to the car and uh, I don't have to remember to switch it off. People keep sending me things to test and uh, they're always names I can't pronounce. So I'm gonna show you what they've sent me. It's here and it's a good old fashioned crook lock. Now, there you go, K-R-T-O-P-O, Critopo, Critopo, however you pronounce it. But there's a flashing light in there. When you get it, you've just got to undo those two screws there and put three AAA batteries in, I think. But it's really easy to use. It takes no time at all to put it on. I'll just get my keys out because that's that's one of the keys that you you need so you pull up outside your house up your drive turn the steering wheel i mean i i'd recommend turning it so that they, they can't go anywhere so you kind of on full lock all you do then get the crook lock or the critopo and put it on like so can't go anywhere and um, the other thing is when it sets while you're trying to or, it it does that so it makes it very uncomfortable for anybody who's trying to steal the car saw through this cut it off cut through the steering wheel and but that let me just do that again um you should be able to see at night you can see this red light flashing you can see that on your dashboard it looks like a very substantial thing it's well made there you go flashing again so you can see that it's a visual deterrent. If your car's got one of these on, they're gonna go somewhere else. That's the theory. Um, but for less than a hundred quid, we've got a crook lock, we've got a car lock, and we've disabled the keyless entry, keyless exit, and that should make your Range Rover harder to steal. And uh, hope that helps. Hope we get the insurance prices down on these because they're the best car on the road to drive. If they weren't, I guess they wouldn't be so popular amongst the uh, thieving fraternity and uh, they wouldn't get stolen as much. So it's a compromise. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, thanks to uh, Critopo for sending me that. I actually do use it. I use it every day. So thank you, bye-bye. Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. I've been sent this uh, car lock basic to fit, uh, test and review. I'm pretty sure I like it because I've got the previous one, which is the plug-in one for the EOBD socket. And I have that on my little Citroen Ami. Um, there's no protection as such on an Ami, so this gives you an alarm. Uh, if anybody knocks it, it sends you a message saying it's vibrated or there's a vibration. If they start the engine, you get an alert. And if it moves outside a perimeter that you set on the app, then you get kind of a klaxon alarm. So here we go, here's the box. I'll just show you. Hopefully you can see there. So we'll open it up. 
activation card. That's got my code on the back to activate. It is a subscription service. I believe you get the first month free and then uh, you have to pay per month. So we'll just put these, we'll just put that away for the moment. This is it. Now, red and black lead, earth and live. I will pick these things up later, so don't worry. So that's it. The leads are protected and there's a stick on pad at the back here. So, um, I'm not sure whether it's fused. I would, connecting it across the battery, I would prefer to see a, a fuse in it, but anyway, um, we'll, we'll fit it. So, now then, have I got my 10 millimeter spanner on me? One second. So in order to fit it to the battery, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna undo this, and rather than fit it here where it will just squash the terminals out, I'm gonna try and fit it in between. Hopefully, is that gonna tighten up enough? So this is only temporary, so don't, don't be moaning about my handiwork again. Yeah, that should be better. Somebody sprayed silicon all over this engine. It won't be our valeter. I can tell you that for nothing. But anyway, we'll tuck those wires down there, stick that to the top. There you go. That's it. Now I need to go about. I was just going to shut the bonnet then with my GoPro. It would have been an expensive video. So we'll open the car lock out to profile and then add vehicle. So we'll add a vehicle, activation card, which I have here, activation code. Click next, select vehicle manufacturer. So this one is a VW Golf, Volkswagen, Golf, Europe, London, next. Subscribe to Carlock now. Well, I'm already subscribed. I'll just click set up later and choose a different plan. So that's it, Volkswagen Golf, it's all done. It expires in or on 30th of the 5th, 2023. We'll just go to the log, no data, smart lock, car lock tag disabled. So we'll manage um, timer lock, timer lock switch on. So you get out of the car and it automatically switches on after five minutes. We'll just try that. Settings, what do I want? Settings, car, imperial, default trip, tag, personal, default map type, normal, Siri, uh, monitored circle size, normal, I'm going to put small, so back there, signal loss, smart lock enabled, mute all, we don't want that. Profile, as I say, it's got mine. Um, all we need to do now is remember to take my GoPro off, which I shall do, and uh, we'll see what happens with, uh, with this. Okay, so we're on part two of the, uh, the test of this Carlock Basic. Um, modern cars, lots of them have keyless entry, keyless go. Um, worst thing that's ever been invented 
and best thing for, for thieves, in my opinion. With the signal snatcher, all they need to do is go somewhere near your door. If they can pick the signal up from your key, they can then transmit it to the guy who stood next to your car, who just opens the car, gets in. Keyless entry these days. They don't even have to do anything. They don't even have to take the, the ignition lock out. They just press the button and, and drive off. Now, because they've done it that way, your alarm's not gonna go off, so you're not gonna hear it in the, in the house. Um, however, with the car lock basic, which is attached to your battery as I've already shown how to fit, it's there all the time, it's live all the time, as long as your battery, as long as you've not got a flat battery, it, it's perfect. So, first of all, it'll detect a vibration if they do it on your drive. Second, when you start the engine, it will also give you another alert to say the engine's been started. And then you, you always, you also, you can also set this kind of safe zone. So once the car goes out of that zone, you'll get another alarm to say the car's been moved. But then you can also, once it's been moved, you can also track the car. So even if you've missed them breaking in, and believe me these days, you don't want to catch them breaking in your car. If they want your car, they're going to be, they're going to take it. Um, we, we've had a couple of customers who've had very, very nasty experiences where uh, they've not been able to take the car off the drive, so they've broken the house. So th this this alert is best. You're best leaving them to it, let your car go, and then you've got the information here and you can see where it is and, and in inform the police. Let the police do it. D don't be a hero. So this is it now, hopefully. Um, what After you fit it, it takes about seven days to learn the, the process of the engine starting, where you're traveling and also if I just go in there there's a few other things that you can do um, there's the log of the of the vehicle being moved and the trips I've done in this vehicle so all, all I've done is just just driven around in it till the, till the car lock unit has got used to the, the vehicle um, you see the vehicle move vibration detected Engine started, engine started, engine started. And as I say, these are, these are my trips. It's a, it's a great little system, great little secondary system. You can see it switched on there. You just knock it off, just tap that to knock it off. When, when you come to the car, I always forget, but you come to the car, just knock it off on your phone there. But when it's ready, it's it's alarmed and it and it's ready. So we'll just try it. I, I am recording the screen, so you should be able to see what happens. So we get in, start the engine. We should soon be going out of the little perimeter. So assuming that your car has been loaded onto a um, trailer or something, and the engine's not been started, they've not opened the door, they've just dragged it onto a trailer, 
it should still alert you when it goes out of that circle and as I said, that's when you, you can also track it as well. There you go, there's the uh, vehicle moved and it's showing you whereabouts it's going, what road it's on. For the price of this thing and the subscription, it is a real um, belt and braces kind of thing. Easy to fit, easy to use. You can put the app on your mobile and you can also have it on your desktop. If you've got a teenager and you want to know where they are, again, the, for a few pounds a month, it's, um, it's a no-brainer really. You always know where the car is. see there that's showing exactly where the vehicle is now where it was taken from and where it is at the moment brilliant system for the price I, I, I've got to say and I, I have been using the other one the EOBD car lock um, for nearly the last two years now in, in all my cars and uh, it, it's great, <laughs> well, it's peace of mind. Um, I left my Citroen Ami there. You probably can't see it from there, so I'll just move. But I have one on my Citroen Ami, which is just there. And that's where I park it when it's charging. If I go home in another car, I'll leave it there. And the other night, a vibration alert went off on it. We have a fantastic 4K CCTV system, and one that I can move the camera around. And uh, there was a cat sat on the roof of it. So, you know, it, it's pretty good. I'm gonna switch it off, let it reset itself, eat me donut and drink some coffee. So I'm gonna get out. I'm not gonna set it, I'm gonna let it automatically uh, reset, we'll just make sure that's on. Go into settings, let's see, monitored circle size, vibration en enabled, smart lock enabled. So I'm going to get out and let it set itself. So the security's enabled itself just as the church bells have started ringing next door. Just start the car, see what happens. There you go, engine started. Also, the trip before, just go back, 7th of the 5th, 2023 at 11 o'clock. And there you see, that's the, the trip I made before. And all this you can see on your computer too. It, it's a great system for, for little money. I can uh, recommend it. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video. Bye bye.